Hello everyone and welcome to yet another match of Roulette Raceway and the first one of round two between Fenium and Ducker, the two finalists of Roulette Rios 4's console bracket. So this should be a really, a really exciting rematch. And joining me today is Chris. Welcome. Hey guys, what's going on? And uh, we are starting in Hokkaido for the 17th time this week. What a surprise. <laughs> and yeah, I don't know. This match could really go either way. Well, I mean, I guess we haven't seen Fanium on uh, legacy maps yet, have we? It's also true. He's quite confident seeing the last uh, few days and he's like, I don't know, I don't know how much he's practicing, but just fat, fat confident, at least. Yeah, I mean, we were talking about how bad these spins could possibly get, so hopefully we don't see any of that. Yeah, on the other hand, we're going to see in just over 30 seconds that what did uh, Roma cook up for us. <laughs> I like um, that phrasing here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, some... Desktop audio on Phenium's. No, actually, Ducker's yeah, side because Phenium likes to talk, in my experience. So I'm adding a bit of Ducker and we are just ready for the first spin. You can run it down if you want. All right, so we've got for Eric Soder's a loud shotgun with Jason Portman, and for Yuki, we've got loud explosive as Amos Dexter. Yeah, as far as Hokkaido spins go, this is a really uh, interesting one. I would assume Ducker does, but hopefully Fanium knows about the uh, wall bang for Soders there. Oh, so true. And... But then again, that would be quite an entertaining kill to see him do that in the middle of the operating room. <laughs> it's, a, it's a real adventure for us viewers as well to see if uh, they can get it done, even with a silenced weapon, but with a loud shotgun, it should be, should be crazy if they try it. Fanium loading in here. See these intense console times. At least it's console versus console, so it's not a disadvantage for either of them, just for us. Our time is wasted even more. I guess we got him starting restaurant here. Probably gonna go for Yuki first. Just isolate yeah, her. Good. Yeah, the gondo gondola is kind of popular here. Maybe even... I'm not sure. Uh, I assume light explosive is hurt out there, but I have not tried it myself. So, some, sometimes it's soundproof for guns, but sometimes it, it doesn't. I don't really understand what's the situation. The, like the two doors and stuff don't really work there. So I guess it's the distance. And Phoenix is the first restart, and Ducker's gonna try the gondola isolation now. He was going with a Kiwi strat here? Oh. Looks like it, yeah. It's been a while, but I would say that Ducker was the first one who, who did a Kiwi strat in Roulette here. Of course, the strategy might be older than that, but I associate with this one with, with Ducker. I thought I'd heard that it, it didn't work anymore in the H3, but I guess that's not the case. Yeah, what I heard also is that, uh, that it either it, it doesn't work, and then some said that it works, but it has to be finicky or just more exact. But this week, everyone has everyone who tried it succeeded so far, so I don't understand. Fenium is going to lose Yuki or not? I have intel. Looks like he got him. And uh, hopefully Yuki is the only one who, only cause of the red guns, no hive mind or anything. That Pog mission story revealed, and he's going to uh, Blue Portman in there. He recognizes your face. Brilliant. And the side kill. You like it green? Mm. 
but he now he's changing disguises while the patient is just turning away from him. That's risky. That's going to be his Soder's disguise. Let's see how he routes down there. There's Dexter. He's going to a medic him right there. And he should go to the bathroom. But you never know with the rent. I don't think there's any trash can out in the open that he can go for. I would say so. Hope so as well. Just never know with IO and changing all the stuff every month. Yes. There's a there's a trash can in the bathroom stall that I've had Yuki go for just countless times, but. It it makes the drowning kills uh, so annoying because yeah you just like cannot get her at the sauna. <laughs> there he goes. Perfect. Just as we want it. Um, Not it. Infanium. Are the patient disguise? Not sure why, but he looks like he's gonna get Portman the same way. Probably just juggling these disguises, and he didn't want to approach. Portman in the suit, I'm not sure why. But yeah, he should do the same, just... Portman will follow 47 into an isolated area. Just watch out for the mirrors. Here we go. He's fine to leave him there, nobody will ever come in there by themselves. Oh, and Dexter is nearby as well. What is he gonna do for him? It looks like Ducker on the other side is looking to get this Yuki kill. Blind guard there, but whatever. So, Yamazaki is the Dexter, this guy, so... But now... Doesn't... Now Ducker left the Portman disguise at the... At the... Gondola? Uh, I guess he's probably gonna blow up Yuki, switch to that, and then head down. Probably. Uh, and there's a large shotgun which you can steal. I'm gonna pretend I knew that was there and move on. I, I'm, it's weird because like Hokkaido is not really loadout restrictive, so I would just bring the concealable, but Ducker has some sort of grand plans. Looks like in the meantime, Fanium. Did a remote detonation on Yuki there and switched into Portman. So he's going to head down to Soders. And... Ducker switching back. Oh, I did not see what happened there. So he just entered Maybe. the trespassing area. I wonder if he got caught by the chef or the security. I guess that would, that would probably be it then. I didn't think I saw it searching for the explosion. Uh, me neither. So that was fine this time. But sometimes definitely the receptionist ladies go into searching or someone, I guess the roaming guard. So it looks like barely makes it past there. This ducker's got the maybe the slower strat here, but he's definitely ahead of me now. Yeah, five minutes passed and no kills for ducker, but lots of setup done already and basically the Yuki kill. Probably a, a double calmer on the or a, a double K on the two more doctors is the safest, and you can get more than one shots in for the wall bang. For sure. And it looks like Thanium had a rip again to those two guards uh, that stay there by the gondola. Oh. Interesting, uh, Ducker only now picks up the micro uh, explos explosive, which is the loud explosive for the Yuki kill, so... Yeah, I don't think he's uh, gotten Dexter isolated at all yet, so... Still some setup to do. Yeah, I th this should be a first kill very shortly. I thought so he, he would... Changes first. Yeah, and I thought he would shoot the evidence with the launch shotgun, that would be a bit ballsy. And now for the first kill. Uh, 
That's the issue yeah, with. Uh, I don't know the yeah, angle looks. Yes. Yeah, the angle looked good. I guess just the bullet spread screwed him over there. Probably. So my last memory was, I think, Throat having a similar spin on practice yesterday, and he just got the first try. So I don't know if it's luck or a really specific angle. I think he had a shotgun shotgun kill in his actual match, and he got it first try. Oh, maybe I was... Yeah, actually, that one. I think, I think somebody said he had a similar practice spin, so... Looks like Fanium had another rev there. <laughs> and the funny thing is that Ducker can try again. That's a bit too quick, though, because the bodyguards are still around. Wait till they go back into the heart room. You're looking for Eric to jump a little bit there, which he does, so that's the kill. And yeah, ninth tried this charm and a body found. How he found who was interesting. That? Oh that was the, uh, the, the security guard right by one the... Yeah. I would say that one of the handymans get there eventually. But Um Yeah, I know there's the one over by the pilot, but I don't think he would see that. I'm not sure. What? Somebody That's obviously did. Such an unfortunate timing. He finally got the kill after seven minutes, which is like ages in a Hokkaido spin. Oh, well, now they're both neck and neck here with about 20 minutes left. Good evening. Yeah, interesting start to this match. Yeah, the, probably the ragdoll was. Uh, Unlucky for Ducker and the handyman could see uh, his head or arms or something. Mm, it's like Fanium may have wanted to lure Dexter inside, but missed him, not sure. So this is about when Dexter would leave his suit and go to the restaurant, so probably that would yeah, have been an did. option. He was walking by the door, and it seems like maybe Fanium realized that patient was still on there. In the meantime, he can get Portman, of course, without an emetic. Looks like they're both doing about the same thing here. Ducker got his Yuki isolation. Yeah, Ducker's been more effective in the first minutes of this spin, or in game time wise. Now, Portman still goes for both of them. Almost synchronized Portman chaos and... I had the audio for both on, that was a little trippy, but... <laughs> like Ducker gets him with that patient still in there and he's going to head over for Dexter. I guess Ducker doesn't have to change much of his strategy other than get luckier at the loud shotgun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure if he has any spare trank darts but, or just drag the guy a little bit, I suppose. Yeah, probably dragging would do it. Amos taking that emetic like a champ doesn't look sick one bit. Yeah, it's a uh, perfect remedy is just to bomb them and everything is fine. Oh, what's he doing there? Okay, he's deciding. Goes for everyone's favorite trash can. <laughs> Not quite sure what uh, Fanium's looking for. Oh, he uh, lured Dexter in the bathroom. So once again, getting to the size at about the same time here. Yeah, this is very similar approaches. Or they are the very similar points in the spin with different approaches. Uh, I guess Docker was the one that had his explosive stashed down at the morgue, so he can't quite get that kill yet. Still does, yeah, that's such a weird uh, loadout slot because where you get Dexter, there's a hidden stash either in that stall or the yeah, other one? There. I think it's in the other one, but 
I'm not gonna act like I would be doing this any better. <laughs> tough, in, tough spin for sure. Tucker waits there, gets that KO. Banium's doing a bit of gymnastics here. Yeah, the no loadout way to get to the morgue is through this pipe, the sleeping quarters, and then yep, yep. up to the morgue doctors. Tucker's gonna grab his shotgun again here. I wonder where Phenium's shotgun is, because maybe it was a concealable and it's already on him. There's no, no briefcases around. I think I see the the garage yeah, uh, agency pick up on the minimap, and that's where he's going now. Yep, yep. Uh, let's see, Ducker is back in Portman. Looks like he's going to go the same way for Soders. Oh, get stuck on the door for a moment, but the chef didn't care enough. Might actually drag this guy into that cupboard back there. Yep, looks like he will, or maybe just leave him in the room. Yeah, take those two extra two seconds to hide. And... Shouldn't be uh, more issues. Minion's on quite a bit of an adventure here. I think he might actually be shooting mm. soders from right up. That oh, is that is something. Oh no, Phineum. Uh, oh no. Yep, that surgeon's gonna spot you for sure. I don't know if he ever even turns around. And you, of course, got the lady that walks between the stem cells. This is going to be painful for him. And I guess yeah, you rather learn it in a community event than in in the actual rule of drivers, but it's still so unfortunate not knowing. Um, or now he's going down one floor. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's not sure where the wall bang is? I don't know. Or he's... He's looking like he wants to clear the area, but... Tucker's got his kill set up here, gonna go for that again. And he gets it there. In time. And, uh... He's playing with these more doctors. So maybe he knows. Well, that's for another time. Yamazaki he doesn't have too much time because Ducker is about to finish because he has already uh, acquired yeah, the Dexter really, disguise. Yeah. And there's not really any that explosive when you're right on that gondola already. Aquariums always fill me with such. And you, you can just. Yep. Oh. Yeah, it looks like Phanium is us. Uh, not sure where this wall bang is. Some kind of aware that... hmm. some kind of wall bang works from the Mog Doctor's room, but I'm not sure. No, no idea about the angle there. He gets it then. He gets it though. Uh, I think it would take something wild here for Ducker to not finish on time, but like killing an on-target uh, along with Yuki. But yeah, that's about it. Yeah, shame for Phanium because one less restarts for him and he would be in a... He might be finishing. Guard there hanging through the railing. Nice. <laughs> but, um... Hopefully, yep, doesn't look like any non-target kills, so he is good to go. And he takes the first map of this match. Guess that Fania might be picking a Hitman 3 map, but I'm not too sure on that. So what do we have what do we have what do we have, sorry, about the map bands? Uh, uh yeah, I think China and Berlin for Hitman 3 are banned. Yeah, and but both of them were Ducker bands. So I wonder if the RR4 champ is not feeling confident about the third <laughs> season. Um I guess he's just more confident of him winning the legacy maps. Probably because the extra experience on the first two seasons. 
and uh, any exit there. And yes, similarly, uh, Fenium banned two of the Hitman Two maps. So everyone's yeah. favorite buy is sadly out of the running. I have not. I don't have high hopes that we will ever see Mumbai Center for Two Nor Haven. Uh, yeah, uh, I guess I have high hopes that it doesn't get picked. Because <laughs> that would be, I don't know. It looks like yep, Fanium's choosing Dubai, the next map. Yep, season three it is, and I guess there's not, not really too many crazy Dubai spins you can get. I guess the suit spins make it one step trickier but more linear and it's just a different environment if both of them happen to be KO kills or this guy's kills then it cannot go yeah. wrong and it's done in three minutes or so back in my RR4 prep I was trying to think of like any Dubai spin that I wouldn't know how to do and there's only one I could think of so maybe we'll, we'll get lucky here and get to see that one but <laughs> uh, you want to keep it hidden or do what do you think is the, the top, oh, no, top I, one? I think probably the worst spin you could get is suit and helicopter pilot with two live kills. Yeah, just about makes sense because then you would want to emetic one of them and get one kill and try to get to the uh, heli, heli disguise and try to get back in 90 seconds or so. I mean, I guess I should say it's not like you wouldn't be able to do it it would just be probably the longest spin because then you'd you'd likely have to end up calling the meeting for whichever one you can't get to in time so <laughs> i'm not sure if you see the discord chat here but um fame's praying for a suit spin and ducker not so much um. <laughs> Let's see how rigged Rommel wants to get here. So, sadly for Ducker, you cannot ban every advanced three mask. I guess we can see what Ducker's ideal spin is here. He's ready for the start. Moment of truth here. That um, that Ingram kill can be sort of annoying. Oh. Yep. Uh, the only problem with that speaker is sometimes the way it falls can be a little rough, and uh, it's pretty specific on where you have to hit the target. But other than that. I think we saw Pidgeyero and RR4 try to get a live kill on Marcus with that stare. That speaker is pretty entertaining, but. Hello. That's so we've got a event staff start and a tech crew start. Like for different targets to start, maybe. As they come. Uh, 
I mean, I would say Ducker's actually kind of advantaged here because I think he can get both isolations really quick. Famous chef, not too bad. Call me crazy, I actually would have started penthouse staff here, but. I did a lot of testing on that. Um, looks like we got some pretty straightforward isolations here for both of them. Yeah, there's, uh, I guess there's not much room to rip here, assuming that hopefully both of them clear out that area for the speaker before trying to go for that. And I was definitely muted for the last five minutes on the, oh. <laughs> on the chat, and, okay. That's always good. Anyway, we had, we had a nice talk about uh, lots of things. And both of them are going for the famous chef now. Yeah, so potential for in a normal match, maybe a photo finish, but here that is not going to apply. No, but it's definitely a photo finish in terms of the penthouse KO. Yep, we've got pretty much mirrored gameplay here from both of them. Hmm, this is going to be really interesting to call. I think it's, it, it will come down to uh, who did what with the speaker, speaker kill. I mean, I'm literally watching the exact same thing on both streams here, so... <laughs> I'm not sure how much setup both of them have got. It seems like maybe Fanium. It looks like Fanium's already got Ingram a little further. Yeah, like a 10, 12 second advantage. Well, this is great gameplay, everyone. <laughs> uh, not much more you can expect from Dubai, I guess. Yeah, that's a spin's fault. That's the next snap for Marcus. Yep. And then... Marcus Red Guns should be for Marcus. So... Not much of a difference here. Second disguise for Fenium and gets the gun. He can shoot the speaker with. He doesn't do the next snap just yet, because he also has to clear out this corridor. Did game already knock everybody out over here? Did I just completely miss that? I I think I saw uh, one corner shot and body found at the beginning, so I think it was this this corridor, but wasn't, I wasn't sure. I'm seeing some uh, swirls on his mini-map there. I guess he did knock out the other two, and he's got both kills down. And 420. Oh, 421. He misses it. But Absolute shame, but I think that was a green gun's exit for him, unless he wants to retry for that time. <laughs> this would be some flex. Let's see the five stars, but it should be a done finish. Yes. Yeah. Fenium ties it up. So. Fanium just with the faster strat there going so quick, I did not even see him knock out three people. So I think the difference was that Ducker went for the two KOs and Fanium went for KOing this floor and then waiting for Marcus and then of course he knew that Ingram will wait for him and I think he caught up there. And I guess it was a good decision ultimately. Yeah, I guess in hindsight, that's absolutely the way to go here, but um, not what I would have done. Oh, it's always great to get the double KO in a minute or so. He's got... Um, looks like he wants to finish up the spin here. 
Hal Ingram finally gets what he deserves. Was a bit afraid he would kill himself there, but now let's get Marcus Stuyvesant. That's what happened, Did luckily. He hasn't seen the ping yet, but it is his map pick Wait, next up. Soon there will be. Yeah, now it's the done, but yeah, <laughs> darn it. Yeah, he was in the zone, definitely. Hey. Well then, where do we go next? To Miami. Miami. Which I swear we've had at least once in every match so far. And they weren't going so well in general. A little too soon on that one in for, but... Uh... <laughs> There it is, is a uh, Kronstadt mechanic that needs to watch out for his life from now on. Miami at 17, so we've got about two and a half minutes here. I think I managed to not mute myself. I was changing the overlay, so we are all good now. And yep, uh, Levy. Uh, reminding Ducker that uh, he did promise a Dolphin exit the last time we, uh, we saw the uh, Miami spin. Is this going to be the... Um, who was who was the one that had the famous Tug Tug exit? It was Q-Man. Q-Man from man. the World Cup. Um, I wouldn't say I hope to see something like that, but I won't say that I wouldn't laugh. <laughs> it would be an instant highlight if we had highlights here. Absolutely, and um, he's he's got the fish in the loadout. He's ready. The legend. Let's give him a spin that allows him to do that. Which is I don't Western know. I'm suit here, and I'll be good to go. So there's no tuck tuck kind of exit in Miami, but I think with the helicopter exit, I saw enough people fail in the last second that you have to be really careful with that one. Yeah, I guess especially when a lot of times you're looking to blast those doors open. And there's that one guard that, guard that goes back and forth outside that likes to troll you. Yeah. Also, I think I have one memory that uh, someone exited as Flamingo. So with the Flamingo animation, Easter egg exit. But is that, a th is that a thing in the main mission? I thought that was only in the escalation. Uh, main mission as well, definitely. And, uh, and and he went through the whole expo building like he got Robert at a whole oh, a different area. So it so he didn't even do the laptop lore. I'm no idea if I will ever find that match, but that was hilarious. And I, I would even say that it was even human or Red Fox. These kinds of people I, just like to take the risks. Yeah, I could definitely see Red Fox doing that, but I would love to watch that match. Yeah, Pijero says that he ripped that one maybe near the exit, but. Yeah, it's always crazy. Anyway, uh, map number three, Miami. Uh, yeah. Go for it. All right, so we've got Sierra Knox, Firewire as the race coordinator, and Robert Knox, Scissors as Kronstadt security. So I'd say pretty straightforward. Yeah, well, um, one, one and a half conditions because you'll always get the security with Bobby. I would say it would be hard to fit in a dolphin exit here, but we'll see how that goes. Mm-hmm. Fiber by race coordinator probably start um, uh, oh. like race tragedy. Yes, sorry. Sorry, just an absolute tragedy that uh, Docker seems to switch out the fish there, but uh Yeah, so I can change the score now already, I think, because it's not gonna be a valid win for him. So for Sierra, probably an e early peekaboo is possible with race coordinates on these guys. Probably starting race crew. There's one free. You try to end the race as race marshal and just peekaboo Sierra. I would say I'm addicted to the waiter start on this map, but uh, I'll have to see. So, yeah, probably you just have to... Well... Go for an adventure for the coordinator disguise, and which is. Um, 
Is that... Is the guy in this room a coordinator? No. No. Well, civilian. Um, Fanim's already got a replay in here. Looks like he wants to start podium, which I would say is probably not the most common start on this map, but... It's going to help him because uh, race coordinator is really close by. And uh, Ducker went with the also unusual chat. He just... Uh, there's the fish, by the way. <laughs> What a guy! Uh, Amazing. Okay. He's in... well, he switches in the security. Oh, so Ducker has the dongle. I'm not sure... So, I mean, I guess there's a chance that he wanted to get in the room for the security disguise, but... He got the da dongle, uh, which he can end the race guess, with. Can he end the race by these two coordinators here? Uh, no, I don't think there's a panel here. So only, only near the security right. room above the Kronstadt building. But uh, yeah, I told you all these legacy maps. Either way, he's gonna get the skies here pretty easily. Nicely done. Um, and then Fanium looks like he you wants to disqualify one of the racers here. He's gonna have to wait probably the whole cycle here now, but yep, unlucky timing. Um, so Ducker, I guess, is looking to use the dongle down the race, considering he got it, but I'm not sure. Yeah, so it's either the dongle or the disguise, which is why he really wanted to KO Rutter and the security, uh, and I don't think it's the disguise, so he's just well, to turn right here. I guess waiter probably wouldn't have been allowed up where those race coordinators are, so maybe he was trying to be extra safe with that. Uh, good point. I think you can get around them, though. Uh, yeah, you definitely can. I just, I don't, I'm not inside the mind of Ducker. We'll see he's picking up his stash here. Silence pistol. Always nice to... Here is the evidence, and he, he will have to do that at some point. There's a box nearby. He still hasn't ended the race. Maybe he wants to shoot that laptop as well. Smart play from Fanium here. Checking for that mechanic. And I'm not sure if... He's oh. a bit late for the peekaboo, but can he... Through an item yeah, he, uh, to turn Sierra around. Since he stopped the race as the marshal, he wasn't quite here. I'm not sure which one he disqualified. Oh, and there's a rip there, anyways. I think Sierra had some gestures, and I think he, she was disqualified, but it matters a bit because her animations are different, but he was definitely late this time and got ripped by the mechanic. Well, even if he had gotten her up in the paddock, I would say live kill with three other people in there would probably not be the easiest. Nope, definitely not. Uh, it's probably... You can so... also take your time with the paddock and just get the two cross the securities in a box and wait for Sierra and her girlfriend. Big lead for Ducker here. He's going to pick up the Sierra. As is the standard. Um, and Fanium's gonna go with the same strat here, most likely. Yep. And there's the peekaboo and fiber wire. I think the kill will be live done kill. soon. Yep, the live kill here would definitely won't be an issue. Oh. Sierra, please. Uh, well, maybe she wanted to move in a little bit more, but he should be able to throw something as she turns around. Yeah, I need to save it somehow. Yep, the door is just open, so she heard it. Nice. And so it looks like Fanium might be wanting to go for the sugar as well. Target down. Probably, because the race is still going on and just brings the disguise Which, in. Um, 
and obviously there's, I'm not sure if that's the sugar he grabbed, but there's one very nearby here. Honestly, Thanium not super far behind, despite the obvious difference in IGT. Yeah, his skill will be faster, because Decker got her at 4.5 minutes, and even if he goes up to, to the waiter start to get the sugar or the kitchen, shouldn't take that long. Um, yeah, Ducker did have to spend quite a bit of time compared to Fanium getting that race coordinator disguise. And Fanium, sure what he's going for there, but he does rip. Oh, now it's a huge um, lead for Ducker. I suppose he was going for scissors somewhere, maybe? Well, not the sure sugar. That. Sugar isn't there. Uh, the uh, scissors. Yeah, yeah, I... And I can't think of scissors either. The around that place of part of the map. Oh, and... Ducker as well with the rip. Uh, well, that one engineer, the one thing stopping you other than Knox himself from getting up there, so. And they're even. Doesn't matter how far Ducker was or how many tries Duck, uh, Fanium took, it's uh, tied again. Luckily for Fanium, he did seem to have the faster strat here. Yeah, I like the setup, the first part at least. But not sure what he wants to do with the Kronstadt mechanic disguise. Um, well, he's headed somewhere, that's for sure. And um, I guess Ducker has no reason to change his plans. Yep, I'm likely gonna go. Fanny's gonna go ahead and grab that sugar, and then Ducker's gonna go ahead and have the same start here. What the? And then, uh, in the kitchen here. Major difference uh, is that Phenium doesn't pick up the fish. Sorry, I'm just joking around. <laughs> a huge loss there for Phenium on not grabbing that fish. Not sure how he's going to exit the map with that one. Yeah, imagine if that's the difference. <laughs> um, but yeah, he grabbed that bag of sugar there. I guess he either likes that one more or not a fan of the uh, one down by the mechanics area. But Ducker's going to go ahead and grab Race Coordinator and Fanium's going to set up his Sierra Isolation. Yeah, either way, Fanium is getting really close to ending the race by butchering the pitch, pit stop. And Ducker's also getting the disguise. Unfortunately, some buffering on Fanium's part. But... Glad to see that's not just me. Um, he's in. It seems like the. Tucker might have optimized something because it seems like he's getting here earlier, maybe. Yeah, just over two minutes, and well, now that I say that, I'm not quite sure where he's going. Tucker had an error for a moment. It was his controller that was disconnected. Oh, the scissors! There you go. I guess there are some scissors. And he's gonna end the race with a laptop. Which should give him enough time to get down for the peekaboo he did last time. Sierra will be coming off the track anytime. And he can also erase the evidence. In time. Meanwhile, um, Fanium gets that Sierra kill again. And Ducker's on his way to do the same. Now Fanium's in the lead. 
Well, he's got his mechanic disguise on, so hopefully he's not headed for the same fate here. He's not going through the Medicaria now, so it's looking better for him. But... Uh, going somewhere. Um... I'm not sure where the closest scissors are to Knox. There's certainly a website that would be able to tell you. Most certainly. So I like the one in the podium area, and I, I guess that's what Phenium's heading for. Do myself a favor and check right now. Let's oh, just. Looks like there are six total here. Yeah. Phenium just goes past, so perhaps. Okay, now he's posing. It might be hit that time for him as well. <laughs> uh, I guess better than running around for quite a while, but it looks like there are three pairs of scissors in the Kronstadt building. Good, so you won't have to make a big detour. Duck is trespassing a little, but doesn't get caught. And now Fenim is gonna... I guess get some scissors while going up the expo building. And we've got the same in game time here. Looks like Ducker is about to go ahead and shoot this laptop. Which would put him in the lead, I'd say, because that's what both of them have to do. There's the and... scissors. Well. I guess we're, it would depend on whether or not he goes for that fish exit, but dolphin exit, I should say. <laughs> well, it comes down to that one. He's got the scissors, got a free disguise, basically. You have this early laptop shoot, or I guess not the earliest, and but... Robert's already right there. He has a very good Robert position. Save himself from what happened to me and hide in this little bathroom here. Are those eye drops 47? <laughs> Looks like Diana's not having it today. I guess uh, Ducker was playing around with this mission story in the last, I don't know, couple of days and Diana's on a cooldown. <laughs> uh, and. Phenium has the disguise now. Um, that guard is going to be an enforcer. He's not getting up that way. Yeah, it looks like Ox's guard on Ducker's side was taking a bit of a rest there. Ooh, and Ducker's getting stuck on so many objects, but he still has one corner shot, so that saves him. Down. Oh... Okay, so this could be tricky if the evidence evidence guys see it. But I think he should be fine now, and that he just has to change the disguises and do the kill. Moment of truth. Will there be dolphins? Which honestly could, could lose him the match here. It's so close, yeah. Back to green. Oh. Oh no, he's got the fish in hand, he's hopping over. <laughs> My goodness, the <laughs> duck. Oh, 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 <laughs> uh, this, this was his map pick as well. Look, er, yeah, it looks like it was. And look at this. Oh, he has the drop. <laughs> that would. That was gonna be allowed either way, but. We're looking at Tranium here. Robert's coming up the stairs. Oh, so no. so what if, if Ducker has forgotten the the order what to go with the Ducker's fishes? Not... Ducker's, the... Ducker's definitely still gonna be first here if he does this right. Yeah, he has to get this right though. Uh, <laughs> Fenium will be done maybe. in less than a minute. The absolute madman. I don't actually know what the pattern is, so I can't judge, but... Me neither. It should show up now, and it does. Oh my oh, goodness, Ducker. What a beast. And Fenium is going to exit in five seconds. Jesus Christ. 
I think I'm said done, but I can't see his stream at all, so... And the stream went no just... Idea. Just for me, he exited and the stream went down, so... Oh, well, on my screen, he's just staring at Robert right now. So I guess Ducker did get it first then, or...? So Ducker posted down first, and he was he first on my screen, and I think uh, Admin Romal would also confirm that, so I think it's a win for Ducker. I mean, he's got the style points with the exit, so I don't see how he could lose there. He gets all the photo finish extra points or so. You don't do that here, but... He could have exited helicopter. I think Ducker probably knows that. <laughs> Obviously, he didn't want to risk the opening that gate. That's what his exit is. Yeah, Fanium gets the pick, which means that is the lead for Ducker now. Yep, I can change the scores now. And Ducker is one win away from the semifinals. So I'm not quite sure what Fanium could have done there to come out ahead. His last run was pretty clean. I think so too. I think there are quicker ways to get up to the laptop though. I just feel like okay. he lost some time there. But yeah, we're going to the back to season one for Marrakesh. And uh, Ducker maybe not too confident on his Marrakesh. Um, yeah, he's already saying it's 4-4, interesting. I hate that I'll be saying this live on stream here, but Marrakesh is my favorite season one map. You heard it first, so, here. It might be... Uh, I might have some issues in the future with this uh, server, but I had to say it. Anium stream is non-existent for me. Is that the same for you? I'm refreshing and it's yeah not looking so good. Like Mo saying the same. Um, so probably best to delay the spin until he gets it back and he's get getting it back for me. And he's back to right buffering. Now. That's... Until spin. Um, he's looking good for me right now. Same here. He's on the loading screen now and it looks like... Yep. It, he has frames and all. Well then. Will we see the first 4-4 score? Or Ducker gets it done? There's a few possibilities here, but... Let's see, Fanium is picking this map, which means that um, the last map, well, not necessarily the last map, but the next map would have to be a Ducker pick if it's not over. Yes. And then we could have a 5 5, but uh, I guess we'll pray for in for sanity that that is not the case. <laughs> I might as well not sleep at that point. Let's see. Spin maybe not coming in a minute? Not sure. I think uh, we're just waiting a bit for Fanium to stabilize his stream and he's fine on my end, Romo. So if it if he's fine for you as well then you can spend send it whenever. Of course with some notice. Um, asking what's up with the link. I don't think anybody has the spin yet, so he's good. Looks like it's gonna be a minute and a half here. Nice. All right, so what are we thinking for the spin here? Suit food vendor, anybody? <laughs> just my, my nemesis is the Klaus Fall kill. I just to... I can't oh, turn yeah. the people around. Yeah. Um, I don't even know, I don't think there's really anywhere else you could even do that reliably. Mm, I don't think so either. Not with... So you've got... Hmm. You can bring him to school. One. Sorry, yes? Yeah, <laughs> if you want to, but uh, that would be a dolphin exit level strat. But yeah, so you've got... 
there's the one security guard right in front of that vacuum, and then there's like three or four NPCs that are just kind of complete wild cards. Yeah, and whenever they are looking towards you, they will spot you even if you just do the push, which is a much shorter animation. But yeah, either that or some loud kills for raise, a loud ballistic kills. That spices it up. We'll see in five seconds. I guess for that, um, I would be blasting him, dumping him out the window, and praying if it's not a remote kill. Praying's good. I th that would be my choice praying as well. Uh, looks like we do have the spin though. Raise a right fiber now. wire, fortune teller. Klaus consumed poison, my sir. Uh, Klaus consumed poison, huh? Klaus consumed poison. Um, I did that recently, and it just uh, just. The glass of wine right and just wait for the timing uh, yeah i think that's the only thing he'll go for um i did have when i was practicing the no loadout stuff um i was trying to work on the timing for when class actually drinks and i swear it just isn't consistent ah uh, i had i had five minutes 20 and 5 35 but maybe it's even wider than that well, either way, we've also got the ever-popular fortune teller disguise, so let's see if anybody wants to go crazy on getting that one. That's going to be a treat to get. Probably an emetic device for him as Ducker is picking his loadout. Looks to be that way. But yeah, with, quite see what with lethal poison, fiber wire, an emetic device, your loadout is really restricted interesting spin. Um, I guess maybe they're both looking to poison the drink and then have that disguise ready for when he actually goes for it. Yeah, I I would definitely use some emetic for the fortune teller though. It's it's possible with with tranks and just it's difficult. I'm not quite sure if you're saying 520 um, how well they'll be able to get all that stuff for Razor done and then get back to that Masur disguise in time. I just want to see. Yeah, going to be very interesting. Oh, and just passing already. My least favorite NPC on this entire map gets a rip there. Yeah, so useless yet rips everyone and everything. That dude is so annoying, especially in 2016. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. But, uh, Tucker certainly doing something here. Oh, he's Not. getting the security disguise to get into the office without trespassing. Mm -hmm. That would make more sense. I'm like, you, you definitely can't set him up there, so... It's going to... maybe he has a breacher for the door. That's what Fenium did, and I wonder if... Um, I think Tucker is just walking. Gonna walk straight in. And shouldn't have any problem poisoning this. Oh, recorded by a security camera. You don't always say that in Marrakesh. <laughs> I don't think you ever say that on Marrakesh. No, that's the only but, camera which is ever an issue. Um, the evidence is just a few feet about directly below him here, so it should be an issue. Yeah, it's not well guarded. Yeah, yeah, sure, of course. So you probably wait it out in the Monsieur Disguise with this setup. Uh, I guess Fanium is going to be doing the same thing here. Maybe he figured out that his first plan was not the way to go. I would have to agree. Evidence deleted for Docker and Fanium will have to do the same later on. Well, let's see what they do from here. Obviously. I would think you might want to get the masseur and then head over for the fortune teller and then leave him. Five. Leave your disguise there. Five. Mm. And um, Ducker knows this dude that goes back and forth here. He's also very annoying. It's probably not her doing much until he's in there. And 
sure this guy's I always thought it was a little bit more of a pain than it needed to be for mission story on this map, but to each their own. Yeah, interesting setup. And gonna get both of them. gets ripped by the guard guardian of the evidence. And then Tucker gets the disguise. I would hmm? say that's a surprise rip to see. Yeah, just one NPC to take care of that, and you could just shoot from outside. Maybe he didn't have a silence pistol, though. <laughs> uh, looking at the uh, Discord here, we've got Ducker asking what Klaus drinks from. So uh oh. Throat there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, throat answered. I guess that's fine. Uh, I need some buffering from Fanium again. Same here. But we'll just jump from early setup to two kills down. No, no worries. Looker's definitely ahead. Looks like he's got a stash there around the corner. The emetic device is the nice, easy, simple solution. It's and to... I guess, well, considering Ducker didn't know what he would drink, clearly the issue for him might be in the wrong disguise for that Klaus kill. Yeah, just don't change this guy, it's too early. Should be about a minute and a half, two minutes until Klaus drinks. And I think what's going to happen here is, is he new in Hitman 3, because the fortune teller always went to his stall house to puke, and now he's going to go to the shisha bathroom. That's interesting. That would definitely be farther, no? Yeah, I just once again, like the emetic routing, pathfinding is something else. Indescribable. Yeah, Meanwhile, Thanium is still buffering for me. He's back for me and he's at minute and a half, but I don't see it on the stream overlay, so I will refresh it there. He's good for me as well. He's running through the floor of the consulate. And... Tucker, uh, is this uh, woman going to go for the trash can that's in here? Looks like she is. Nice. Oh, oh, double double oh, puking. They're going to throw up on top of each other. Okay. I thought there was a trash can in here, but... <laughs> Ducker is <laughs> just as... Amused as I am by this, it looks like. <laughs> Talk it down. Um, not quite sure what he does there. Gets the Klaus kill, maybe accidentally, but... If he doesn't have a calmer, I don't know what he does here, other than hope one of them leaves first. It's going to be really awkward, that's for sure. It's going to be quite a bit of wasted time. <laughs> he says, I hate IO. <laughs> Mood. Uh, yeah, I didn't even know PCs could path to the same plummet spot, but more you know. What? This is new, and now he's just confused. Okay. Uh, joy. Uh, oh. <laughs> he's reacting to the NPC. Okay. Teller's doing. So, is he done, or is he gonna? I think this is probably Ducker's only opportunity to get this disguise here, so he's gonna figure out something. He needs to keep this bumping AI here. Is not having it here. Okay. Um, look where you're definitely gonna need to close that door, and hope that that woman stays facing the toilet there. <laughs> this is something oh to goodness. watch. Though. Maybe he's just gonna wait until the woman leaves and keep him there. And the question is, how long will the lady? Imagine if it's infinite or something. Yeah, the uh, fortune teller seemed to cure himself there. But it should have been around a minute and a half ago that she started puking, because that was when Klaus died then. This is... This is incredible. And yeah, it seems like he's going to hope for that woman to leave, and... The fortune teller is having quite the conundrum there. Whoa, 
occupied, okay? So and now the lady. Oh, man, the lady is going to do the same thing again. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, is she leaving? Okay. She's leaving, but then so is the fortune teller. So hopefully he can lure him back in here. Oh my goodness, uh, and, and Fortune Teller is not reacting. Oh my gosh. This has to be it. So... This one right there. Looks like he's the only one that heard it. My goodness. Mirrors. That was... Yes, that was... That was... Do you wanna, do you wanna... Oh my... Did he get ripped by the mirror? Yes. Oh no, don't hurt. <laughs> Oh. Uh, I, I agree, honestly. What was that? <laughs> All this to check a briefcase to him in front of a mirror. Four NPCs in the Shisha Cafe kind of earned it at that point. Definitely. Suddenly, um, Phenium is five minutes in. Yeah, that was just, I mean, two and a half minutes. Oh, uh, body found and they ripped. Okay, well, that's a restart from both. Okay. I say about a waste of three minutes there for Ducker was a huge advantage for Fanium, but not looking so good anymore. Most no. Now we can see some yeah synchronized action. I guess Janitor start for both of them again. Fanium with an <laughs> infinite load. It says this game isn't competition ready. Um, I honestly would not disagree with that statement. Yeah, what we it's there. So, so part of the game here is, is try to cope with the the mechanisms and the and the inconsistency. Yeah, I mean, Ducker did definitely save it there quite a bit until uh, that happened. I would say you probably would have wanted to crouch there, but I don't even know if that would have uh, solved the issue. Yeah, it's it's risky. I probably just subdue there because I think you always get the prompt, or more often than with any other method. So when I was playing H two casually, and um, there was that change that NPCs can see stuff in mirrors, I was like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> I I do not think that's cool anymore. Little did we know, but yeah, that sounded like a good good feature at the start. So, uh, Fanium, if he's good, because it stays crashed for the animation. Yeah, the Enforcer is far away. And... Um, they're back to basically doing the same thing here. It doesn't help us that it's it's a really long spin anyway. So, it's a lot of running and... Waiting for the Emetic to hit and Klaus to die, so... You're gonna be here for a while. Six small Sadly, but we still got 17 minutes left on the spin. Um, it is not fair. It is. It isn't. You can't keep me in here under I I heard something suspicious. At least Ducker is consistent with the Monsieur. And looks like he's got it there. Hopefully, doesn't get a bad head turn. It's always close, uh, but always works. Uh, okay, I could have sworn that guard just watched him change, but he's good to go. He just doesn't care anymore. <laughs> he's done after that uh, last restart. But Fanium. So I'm not sure what what's there to do in this room for Fanium. Yeah, he's doing something. Safe code is not going to be too useful. Um, oh, he medic the masseur. Oh, okay. Interesting. I mean, I would say it would have to be safer, but... So which of these stores are safe for eternity? I'm... I think the other one... I think the one without the combination is the safe one. The one with the combination, sorry, is the safe one, which would be this. If he can just get the dude... You just get Connie there into the corner. Yeah, it's a matter of minutes. There we go. That's it now. Um, so Ducker 
is a little ahead here. Hopefully he misses that lady this time. It looks like he does. Or at the very least, just bump her five times and... Um, I guess on Sword of the Bright Side, he should know the timing on the Klaus kill now. Man. Yeah, and it kind of lines up nicely if by the time he... the fortune teller gets to the bathroom, Klaus won't be... he'll be close to dying. And there's not much gameplay to watch here. No, it's uh, wait waiting. I guess thankfully much is going to be much less intense than about five minutes ago. Um, looks like Fanium is actually going to be secreting, and he gets away with it. So now we play the waiting game. Yeah, both of them are waiting for them. That's amazing. Um, Still no subdue, it. but at least it's not in front of the mirror. And what a KO. Beautiful. And now he has to wait for Klaus oh. to die. Yeah, uh, I'm a little concerned with him changing there, but... So he's changing going back. back. He's going to... Sit around for about the next 30 seconds. Um, Papa says... Yeah, that's... He did, did seek her, the, the fortune teller, Phenium did too. Just not with the device, but... The seeker gun. So... I can see about two pixels of Klaus over there. He's definitely walking somewhere. Uh, looks like he's standing in front of it now, maybe? Awesome, perfect timing. Well, by perfect I mean he only had to wait 45 seconds. And Fanium shouldn't really have to wait much at all, which would put them about the same timing here. Looking into the distance, just hiding in the box for now. Um, and there goes Klaus on both ends, so it's one kill down. And Tucker with a very slight lead here. Mm, this is going to be interesting. Who wants to take it quicker, safer? There's not much you can do with the Klaus kill, or the Razor kill, intercom so, as soon as possible. Um, I would be going for the Headmaster, because I'm not going to risk anything. And it looks like that's what Fanium is doing who has somehow now taken the lead over Ducker. Yeah, Ducker took a huge round around the block. Yeah, he was just, uh, probably thinking about his decisions. <laughs> yeah, um, funnily enough. Yeah, Ducker... you, can't, you can't do that anymore, Fanium. <laughs> they patched that out. Well, nice, I didn't know that. <laughs> I was trying that the other day, but I wasn't sure. All way around. The Omega Charter is here. And... Now with the slight lead, I guess, maybe we'll see one of them go for the truck keys. Could save them a little bit of time, but... It could mean the match, honestly. Ducker's trying the same. <laughs> um, so, oh, I'm a little behind on Ducker, but yeah, that's, <laughs> that's not going to work there. Oh no, he's, he's, he keeps trying. Okay, now he's giving up. <laughs> that was uh it was very easy to do before so it's definitely noticeable that it's not possible anymore yeah so if any has the intercom he's gonna be waiting for Razor here about 30 second lead 30 40 seconds uh, it could there the other could side in his office yeah it could st still depend on his cycle but, I mean, if he's consistent for both of them, then... The urine on Ducker's end, love to see it, and doing some gymnastics. Looks like he's grabbing Soldier Disguise. Um, to get the keys, perhaps. Yeah... Mm, it's really not any different to get the intercom, so yeah, it looks like he is going for the keys here. 
But this was so perfect the, timing for Razor though. He was at the right at the right position for the kill. Anyway. Unless Fanium somehow gets a GRB or something here, um, even with having to run to the exit. Um, assuming he does. He should have it. Let's see. No slight elevation difference there, and we're good. And he's not going for the kill, uh, for, for the keys. He went for the kill, but not the keys. So, I'm going to oh. wait for this annoying guard, but he is definitely still on the lead, I would say. Tucker's going to have to wait for Razor to come all the way upstairs once he hears that intercom. Um, and this should be it once you, once he changes to the soldier disguise, then he won't be just passing anymore. There's... Really? Nowhere to rip here. He's gonna be maybe going for the default start exit. About 15 seconds to go and we will have a 4-4 result for the first time in this tournament. We hate, we hate to say it for end for fun here, but it's gonna be the 4-4. <laughs> I don't think it's even possible to rip here unless he decides to shoot someone. Yeah. 920 America ish, that's out. See those five stars. And there we go. What a match between the two best console players currently. And that was Fanium's pick as well. So he did win his pick, but now it is going to be Ducker's turn. And if Ducker finds a map, on which he can beat Fanium, then he wins the match. Personally not hoping for Dartmoor, but... I'm personally hoping for a quick map. Uh, Ducker is done again, but not quite. It is real. It <laughs> is actually lost to that. Unfortunate rip there with the fortune teller. Incredibly close match. All four maps were quite close. Would be nothing short of a tragedy if he loses the match because of it. Uh, so now we're waiting on Ducker. <laughs> Go Berlin. He banned Berlin. So. <laughs> Not quite. So, <laughs> yeah. Berlin, um, Chongqing, and Dubai are banned for or have been played or banned uh, from season to its Whittleton Creek, Mumbai and Miami. And I see Hokkaido and Marrakesh from season one. Still still a lot of options. Interesting. Ban and Whittleton there. I guess maybe that was Manium's worst short map and he didn't want to get stuck with it. Probably. And we are going to Sapienza for the Sapienza. most likely decider. Yeah. Seen that map a few times as well. Um, there been any map we haven't seen yet? I guess I can look. The lo longer ones for sure. Uh, those, but I mean like, you know, outside of Mumbai, Santa Fortuna Haven. We did get a Bangkok, so... One scale was interesting to see in your match. Yeah, I guess if you want to call it interesting, you can go ahead with that, but... Okay, well, yeah. <laughs> Walking around for 10 minutes trying it to figure out what to do. It did happen, it. yeah. Um, so let's see, when's our spin coming in here? One and a half minutes. And I I cannot see this ending in a tie. So someone will get a two someone will get two points here and we'll get to six. Yeah, I'm not sure even what could be bad enough to result in a tie. Hmm. There's too many disguises on this map for me to think of all of them, but... The kills aren't terrible. The worst case scenario is that you have to bring the disguise from the church or the store. It's just, it's just a little bit of time, but doesn't make it harder. Yeah, then it's just maybe some waiting on the uh, cycles, but you can still... There's two uh, Silvio triggers, obviously, that aren't relying on his cycle. 
Yeah, it makes it very easy. Or I guess be the VCR also. I'm not sure if that brings him from anywhere, but so it's um yeah, I've I haven't seen that one either. Anyone no, going for that, so So we got ten seconds here. Yeah, you can run it down if you want again. Alright. What have we got? Then, um, Sylvia Crusoe, Silence Pistol, Mansion Security, and Francesca DeSantis, Injected Poison Cyclist. So, this is the speed of them first cycle here. It shouldn't be all that difficult. Then it all comes down to Francesca, really. And the Psychis disguise can be acquired in time. Yeah, I uh, learned that in the improv tournament. So I guess it's just up to if they're really able to get that. Yeah, and they will have a loadout to pick. So it will make it easier. Let's see, you got default start from Ducker and Fanium as well. Would have to agree there. And this is really going to be a spin, and I, I agree with Pichero. This is going to be four minutes and some in game time wise. I would say we're definitely going to get a winner here. And it's a silent skill for Silvio, so it can't really go wrong there. What this can, guy, what can what happen? To, uh, the the security guy is can eat drank shots. That's what can go what wrong. Not, I guess there's plenty that could go wrong, but what will what will reasonably go wrong? I guess. Mm -hmm. It was, <laughs> yeah, it was quite uh, usual for me lately. But they just have He's to close. wait and see. So I'm assuming we're going to be seeing pretty synced gameplay here for a bit of time. Mm, yeah. Except that Ducker took two years to load in. But yeah, it's going to be similar starts. So we've got a 20 second lead for Fanium here. Almost maybe just because of the load times, but Ducker did qu spend quite a bit more time on his loadout. Um, so he's oh no, he missed. Trank, but cyclist said yummy trank. So this is what can go wrong. All these trank shots. Uh, yeah, we found it. Um, I was assuming they'd both go for the same thing as Ducker, but we've got Fanium rips to a attempted bullet distraction. That's really okay, ballsy. Well, That's a bit too much. I mean, you can get to Francesca in a much simpler way. Yeah, and I don't make know. the timing. Did they, not have, uh, they not have the loadout to get in through the side door, or even then, you probably would have time to go through the suite. Not sure, but. Yeah, you don't really need items for that, and you can get a crowbar to open doors, I'm not sure. Well, I've got two and a half minutes to get there somehow. Syringe in hand, changes back to the camera, changes to the silence pistol. <laughs> okay. And he's gonna go for the I guess they are, they want to do it fancy. The fast strat, panicking those two mansion guards there, and I would really just go through the kitchen here. Same. I would even go through the safe house and just jump down through the kitchen with one bullet distraction. I'm having issues with Fanium again. Yeah, same. Stuck on 14 seconds, and now it's back to 17, but he's, he should he jump a like lot. Fanium unplugging his router for the win. And mm. it's for me, kinda. Uh, the Ducker killed the exit, <laughs> nice and silver. Or maybe maybe that's Ducker DDoSing uh, Fanium here, but his stream is dead for me. Yeah, anything goes on deciders, so. 
not sure if that's something that he's able to fix on his end, but with Ducker, he's here. Plenty of time for Francesco. Yeah, and it looks like um, Phenium went fully offline. Oh, not ideal, and yeah, of course... Oh, he's back? Or not? Yeah, he was back for a fraction of a second. Back on a restart, which is not looking good, but he was back for a second. At least we know that uh, Ducker is ahead by two minutes. Um, and he's at 30 seconds for me now, and he's loading again. Okay, well, <laughs> I guess I'll be watching Ducker here. Yeah, we will be watching for Ducker and the chat if so, to see what happens to Phenium. Phenium is also blowing up a car. Um, Ducker is about two minutes ahead, however, with a... I would say straightforward path, but I guess we've seen that anything can happen. Yeah, there Not isn't sure. much you can do wrong yes. here with a karma shot too. He's got an EMP there, so not much left for him to do. Being patient, okay. waiting for the karma animation to finish, and that's all three of them KO'd. Um, Sphanium doesn't know you don't really have to shoot that, but he's going for the same thing here. But... Having a hard time seeing how Ducker fails here. Nope, he's EM one EMP throw and one ledge drop away. I mean, even if he misses the EMP, he can just walk over and uh, shoot the stalactite. Field lab. You yep. The virus prototype will be close by. That throw is looking nice. Some type of Aim with the gun and drop. Detonator. And for fun. Calling it as it is, and that looks like we're done here. Ducker wins Sapienza and wins 6 to 4 in this very exciting round 2 match. The rematch, I don't actually I don't quite remember who won in the RR4 match, but that is going to be it for Ducker. That was Ducker as well, it's a 6 to win for him. Now it's a 6-4 for Dakar, so he remains undefeated in their head-to-head. -head. And that was a uh, round two match, if I'm not mistaken. So we've got, I guess, our first semi-finalist here. Yep, Dakar is through to the semi-finals, and he will play the winner of Pijero and Throat. But it's going to be a while until Dakar plays next, so he will have time to rest. So, yeah, we've just got one match left that's scheduled, and... Yep, it's... So we can wrap it out here. Chaos versus Mikulars. You will see, you will get your opponent tomorrow at 7 p.m. Central European time, which is 10 a.m. Pacific, I believe. And I will definitely be watching my opponent as well. Oh, yeah, and casting, uh, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, should be a exci really exciting match. All right, I think, so I, yes. I'll let you round out here and uh, thank you yeah. for your, uh, I'm going to be going to bed at about 1.30 a.m. here, but uh, thanks for being here. Yeah, and thanks a lot for joining me to CoCast and thanks again and uh, yeah. see you. Yeah, so see you guys uh, tomorrow. We will have one match if everything goes well and I have one PJRO DM to see and I hope he didn't schedule for tomorrow, so we have one match tomorrow and then the next uh, later on in the weekend. So anyway, thanks to everyone for joining and uh, stay in the Discord and check the links for upcoming matches. And uh, that's it from me. Uh, thanks everyone and goodbye.